This is CHS TV News. Good morning, Cathedral. I'm Rachel. And I'm Elena with your morning announcements for Monday, May 8th. There is a newly updated grad list outside of Mr. Nordoff's office and outside of the guidance office. This will be one of the final posted lists prior to graduation. There have been several names added recently, so it is imperative that students check to see if their name appears on the list and if it is the proper spelling. If you have any concerns, please see Mr. Nordoff. Ticket sales for the grad dinner dance are on sale only from May 15th to 19th, only in the guidance office. Tickets are $50 each and you must be graduating to purchase a ticket, otherwise you are someone's guest. Guest forms are now available from Ms. Tambasco in guidance. Students must get these forms in ASAP. Any questions can be directed to Ms. Tambasco or Ms. Simpson. There will be a brief, brief but important meeting tomorrow after school for all students attending the March for Life in Ottawa. Please go to room 340 immediately after the dismissal bell. Thank you from Mr. DiPietro. The Cathedral Chackers were in action again this weekend competing in the Mohawk College coding competition. The level of experience was quite high with over 70 competitors from as far, as, uh, from as, far away as Oshawa, Ontario. True to form, however, our Gales represented well, earning a bronze medal and walking away with a cash prize of $125. Congratulations to Sim Sam Symbolic, Bavli Gurgis, Andrew Daly, and Kyle Fernandez, and a big props to Rookie Hackers, Ruth Ann Parks, and Sabrina Sosa. Congratulations to Cathedral's track and field team who competed in the Mark Graham Invitational last Thursday. The Gales put forth some great and inspired performances in the cold and rainy conditions. Practices this week are today, Wednesday, and Thursday to get ready for G-Hack next week. Wednesday's practice will be at Burbuff. Teachers, please excuse the girls' slow pitch members at 1 p.m. to meet in the chapel before their first game today at James Smith Park in Ancaster against BT. Thanks from Coaches Moss and Pecora. There will be a very important girls' rugby practice today immediately after school on the back and field as sorry, on the back field as you prepare for tomorrow's HWCDSB Round Robin Sevens Tournament. All team members must attend if you wish to play tomorrow. If you cannot attend, please see Mr. Paterakias sometime today. Girls Touch football tryouts will occur today on the backfield immediately after school. Thanks from Ms. Stewart. And lastly, tennis tryouts will occur today and tomorrow at Rosedale Tennis Club from 3 to 4 p.m. If you cannot attend, please see one of the coaches. And those are all of your announcements for today, Cathedral. Have a great day, Gales, and thanks for watching.